Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Pre-Market Report, sponsored by Delta.Exchange and Tradex.Live. Yesterday, the U.S. markets fell for four straight days. I think it was five straight days, not four straight days. At least India is falling for a reason, Mauritius tax treaty, but uh, U.S. markets are falling for no reason. Not only that, you know, U.S. markets fell for five straight days. Looks like, you know, futures are trading much lower. Uh, I think another 1%. And so today, if everything goes as indicated by the futures, and today will be the sixth straight day of fall in U.S. markets. Netflix came out with results. The result seems to be good, but the stock is uh, down by about 5%. Coming back to our markets, you know, uh, the global sentiment is very bad. The Asian markets are down. Deep Nifty is down. So no need to look into those things. Uh, Infosys results came. Okay. Uh, like most of the time, media people always say results are good. But uh, immediately, there was a knee-jerk reaction. The Infosys ADR was down nearly 7% just after the results. But after that, it has recovered and to trade close to 1% down. But I think uh, finally it settled about 2 to 3% down. So uh, number one, global sentiment is weak. And number two, here we have this Mauritius tax rate issue because of that FAAs are selling. FAAs have sold for about 20,000 crores in just in a matter of uh, four trading sessions. 8,000 crore on one day and then followed by Average of 4,000 crore for the remaining three days. 20,000 crore in four trading sessions is a very, very huge selling. I think this uh, selling is likely to continue as I have highlighted many times that, you know, Indian markets know irrespective of the global markets. So Indian markets will correct as and when the government is talking about FPA taxation. So that's the second thing. You know, the third thing, you know, the corporate results. TCS results were good as per media report, but despite that, there was only recovery intraday, but at the closing basis, it fell. And now uh, Infosys results has nothing to uh, speak much positive about it. So therefore, no, today, definitely IT stocks will be coming under pressure. And moreover, today is Friday and tomorrow is uh, HDFC bank result. So HDFC Bank will be, you know, uh, in focus today, but uh, HDFC Bank ADR was higher. But uh, we cannot go by the ADR sometimes. So probably what I'm guessing, uh, the liquidity is very, very low in U.S. markets. So probably, you know, there are some manipulators. They are just trying to uh, keep those stocks in U.S. positive so that, you know, sentiment will be positive here. And so that, you know, they can sell aggressively at a higher price. Say, for example, the day, day before yesterday, in U.S. markets, uh, ICSA bank was higher. But yesterday, what happened? The ICSA bank fell here. So not only fell, from the beginning, it was not trading in green. Uh, in fact, I think there seems to be some problem with ICSA bank. You know, so it has been correcting significantly. Uh, just one day, actually, it broke out of uh, that uh, 1,100 level, but that lasted just for only one or two days. Then after that, continuously falling. So as I said, during this choppy material news uh, kind of uh, scenario, uh, many times even the technicals will not work. So that is what is actually happening now. And another thing, you know, the sentiment will become bad. So when... Nifty breaks 22,000. So it has actually broken 22,000 yesterday. It actually closed below 22,000 just because of weighted average closing. So Nifty was showing uh, about 22,000 in NSE website. So as I've been telling you, it is definitely a time to be cautious. And I also told you when 22,147 is broken on the downside, so Nifty has become clearly short is not long so anyway so choppy time so you no know, 
uh, sometimes you know things may not work but that is why it's always better to play through options and that too in a positional option that too two to three months away otherwise you know the kind of things happen yesterday you know so intraday players are finding it very very difficult to trade and there are many you know social media posts if you go by uh, many people are even uh, leaving this intraday short selling so that is actually good for the market you know otherwise too many people you know too much uh, competition and the premiums tend to be very very low so this is a period you know as i told you many times you now we are in bull market so the bull markets will always behave like this bull market corrections will be fast and furious so you just see in a matter of 4 days nifty losing 800 points so that's about 4% so 4 days 4% you know so this kind of sharp selling happens in bull market but if you hold on to it in a longer time frame the markets will uniformly recover but uh, that may take some time so there are a lot of other uncertainties like a parliament election so in fact uh, this time you know uh, last two times before the election uh, the india wicks went up to 30 35 but this time probably you know uh, two reasons number one uh, too many people have shifted to everyday expiry and they are not doing positional options uh, that is one reason uh, another reason you know so there are too many people coming into this field of option selling so there are not much buyers so because of this you know the premiums are not very great so when the premiums are not very great so definitely india which tend to be lower because india which is calculated based on one month option premiums so that could be one reason but uh, definitely going forward we can expect more spike in uh, india weeks and us weeks has already shot up like anything so there is no need to look at any open interest this and that you know so markets are very very clearly bearish but at the same time you know there will always be some intraday uh, recoveries like what has is has been happening for the last four trading sessions so that's because you know uh, in the morning there will be uh, you know some panic because of the option writers you know like uh, some short sellers and then you know market falls then you know when the markets fall beyond a point uh, the domestic institutions step in to buy the shares then the market recovers 100 150 point then some fa's use that opportunity to sell the shares they just wait wait for the intraday recovery and see what happened yesterday there was an intraday recovery of about 150 point so that is when the basket selling came just imagine how much should be the basket selling so that nifty can fall 200 point that was uh, i think you know in my opinion at least it should be 500 crore plus and that is a basket order just in at one go so then again market fall so this is how the markets become very very uh, choppy so there will always be some intraday recoveries so that is the time you have to uh, cut your long positions and there is the time to add your short positions so clearly globally as well as locally uh, things are not looking well so again i repeat so this is time to be cautious and definitely 22500 will be a great resistance but the problem is that we have only five more trading sessions and 22500 call is trading only about 23 rupees 50 paise yesterday and then today with the gap down so it is likely to be even lower so sometimes you know selling an option for a very very small premium now in case if there is any recovery we will be in trouble so uh, that is why you know one can consider selling options in the next series a may series or june series of course june series one has to avoid completely because of a parliament election so uh, any intraday recovery so consider selling all options 22500 and above with a proper hedge and uh, let us hope the market you know at least you know uh, stabilizes 
if not uh, uh, shooting higher. So first thing is that, you know, uh, people say, you know, if you meet with an accident while running, okay, you just can't uh, run immediately. So you have to go to hospital, you have to rest, you know, for some days, then only you can start running. So the same way once this kind of a bad news came, markets have fallen, then the markets cannot rise immediately, but market has to consolidate here, okay, for a few days. And then slowly, you know, sanity may have to return to the market, then markets may start moving higher. So, but option writers will be hoping that, you know, in this uh, time period, so they can make money due to time decay. So, all in all, uh, things are looking very, very bad. So let us hope that, you know, we are somewhere near the bottom. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.